Welcome to pro tip number four. Again, another very straightforward tip that I'll show you right now. Lock down your name. Look at the search clicks on my website. Now, out of all these things I've done, out of all the things I've put on my website, look which gets the most actual clicks. It's Jerry Banfield. And why not? It's jerrybanfield.com. But people are looking for me. They want to come to my website. So lock down your own name. Take the easy stuff. Now, a lot of us try and compete. We try and fight with others. We try and take from others. We try and get into it. Take the easy stuff. Make sure you lock down your own name. You wouldn't be amazed to how many people I search for. I look their name up and I can't find their website. This is why I encourage to have a website with yourname.com. That way, when word of mouth kicks in, you'll get search traffic to your website. Now picture this, would you rather if people are searching for you, have them go straight to your website where you can present things to them or would you rather have them go somewhere else that maybe you have less control over like a social media account, like a third party website? You want to lock down your own name and the easiest way to do that is to do a yourname.com or if you need to a yourname.net dot org, et cetera. I think it's nice and clean to just have it first and last name. Even if it is a nickname, technically Jerry's a nickname. So I locked down my name and that is the number one query to my website. In fact, out now out of specific keywords and the home page out of all my pages is the most viewed page. So if you look at all my views, there's 8,000 page views on the home page, and then out of all the search results, there's 1,400 clicks specifically for my name, and then there's variations on my name, Jerry Banfield one word, Jerry Banfield Udemy, jerrybanfield.com. When you lock down your name, you make word of mouth marketing easier. You want to take advantage of word of mouth marking. The best search clicks you can get are someone who's heard of you and then goes to look for you. So having those kind of search clicks, that is the ideal form of traffic. If you can get people to search for something, the ideal thing is for them to search for you by name. So if you've got a crowded name, like one that's very common, like Dave Smith or something like that, I don't even know if that's that common, but if you've got a name that's common, just figure out a way to make it unique so that there's not a lot of competition for it. See, there used to be some other guy who, when you search for Jerry Banfield, some other guy's Facebook profile came up first. And now with my website, when you search for Jerry Banfield, my website usually comes up towards the top. So, And I've got a huge YouTube channel. I've got all kinds of other stuff online. You want to get your website up there into one of the first things that people find out about you. This is one of the areas where Google will give you a huge benefit for SEO. And you want to control what people are finding out about you then. When people search for me, I want them to see my courses right away. I want them to see my books right away. I want them to see my social media, my blog, my inspirational, and I want them to be on my website. Now, if they search for me and they do something like find my Twitter account, that's great, but I might they might get totally off on a tangent looking on my Twitter account. They might end up going on and clicking on a hashtag like hacking or something, and then all of a sudden they've totally forgot about what they were originally doing searching for me. So this seems really obvious, and yet you'd be amazed how many people I've seen who don't pay attention to locking down their own name online. You lock it up. You lock it up. Lock down your own name online. Make sure you get up there and take all your own search results for yourself and then when you apply all the things I've told you in here along with that you can maximize what you get out of your word of mouth marketing and then everyone who's hearing about you will end up coming to your website.